So for this week's lab, uh, we are going to create uh, online maps uh, by using ArcGIS Online. Uh, to be clear, so uh, we can do everything that in ArcGIS Pro. And next, we can upload data from ArcGIS Pro to ArcGIS Online directly. Um, but for some reason, I cannot do that um, by using AppStream. So I'm still trying to figure that out. However, in the meantime, so I also do want to show you that we can also create a map and also design map uh, go to, by using ArcGIS Online. So, so there are two ways. You can either uh, go to ArcGIS Pro and also design your maps and also upload a map to ArcGIS Online directly from ArcGIS Pro. Or you can go to ArcGIS Online, which we are going to do it this week. And we can uh, use the data that I pre-uploaded and also we can create some maps. Um, so okay, so let's go to ArcGIS Online, and next we're going to log in. So let's go to sign in, and we're going to sign in with our uh, GMU uh, accounts. So let's see GMU, and we can remember this URL if if that's a private computer, and we just need to log in with our GMU uh, credentials. OK, uh, so once we logged in and we can see that uh, those are the contents that being created and all shared by the GMU folks. And you can see this is the one that I just did earlier. Um, and where we can see the gallery map scene, scene is uh, where we can visualize 3D um, objects or spatial objects on ArcGIS online. A notebook is a new feature where uh, we can design our Python code to perform some spatial analysis. Um, groups, so if you belong to some groups within GMU, so you will see your uh, organization there. And also content is where uh, we can see the content that we already created. So that is uh, each content that created by our own. So uh, for this lab, let's first create a map. So let's click map. So that will open the ArcGIS Online uh, map. And and also, um, I noticed that ArcGIS Online has changed a lot um, uh, recently. So for example, right now, they have a map video beta. Um, I'm now recording this lab in November 2020. So um, I'm not going to use that beta. So I just in not right now. OK, so first we need to add data, so just as we did in ArcGIS Pro. So let's go to Add. And we can see we can search uh, for layers, or we can also browse layer from Living Atlas. Um, so let's say we want to search for layers. And if you already have something on ArcGIS Online, so you will see your stuff here. So however, this time let's search online. And let's search. Um, 2024 GOG uh, 25 Lab 11 data. OK, so hopefully you will be able to find that one. So you can see that is shared by me. And also the date is uh, today, 11 4th, uh, 2020. Um, and let's add that data. And now you can see the date has been added. And you can use your mouse zoom in and also zoom out. And also, if you notice that we have a um, scale bar that is pretty nice, that will be updated all the time automatically. OK, uh, so that's loading the data. And next, uh, let's go to the content. So here we can see we have two layers. The first one is a math routine VA. So those are those points. The second one is a population that county level. OK, so exactly the data that we used um, in the previous lab. Uh, if you want, you can add more data. And you can also change the base map. So for example, let's switch to a, this darker base map. And from here, let's remove this uh, reference. So the word dark grid reference. OK. OK, so we just keep the base map, but we don't want those labels. Uh, so that you can change the base map here. Uh, you can also perform some very simple analysis, uh, like summary, aggregations, um, drawing, 
and also find locations that's and also enrich remember that the, the tool that we used earlier um, and also remember that um, normally I might be wrong but uh, normally when you run those tools in access online uh, it will cost more credits and so that I would say be very cautious so if you don't have a specific reason do not run those tools it will run out your uh, access credits very very super fast so okay so let's go back to the details and also content um, so let's see make sure that we check the first one those points and then where you can see you can show the legend which is just the single dot uh, you can also look at the tables that those are the edge view table um, and also you can change the symbols which we'll do it later uh, you can also fill the data so let's see click here and you can design the sql so for example if you want to say that the number killed is say a great of um, at least at some value so you can do that um, and this is also a new feature i would say so that is well create clusters so if you are curious you can see that they just automatically group multiple points together um it's it it's i would say it's a kind of variation of the heat map but if you like you can try it and but i'm not going to use that one and also here again you can perform some analysis on this layer so uh, and also you can do more things like you can set visible range you can zoom to this layer you can set transparency um Okay, you can create labels, etc. Okay, so let now let's go to the symbology. Let's say we want to change the symbol. Uh, so for this one, we're going to use uh, which number of injured as the attribute. So we're going to create a proportional symbol map to indicate the number of people being injured on uh, at each instant. So let's say number injured. You can of course add more attributes uh, and the next you can choose different type of the maps for example the heat map uh, is not very popular and it's available on access online um, and also you can choose the other maps like if you want to use uh, uh, visualize the categorical data you can use this one um, but here let's say we want visualize the size so we want to use a proportional simple map so let's select the first one and you can also customize those symbologies let's say we continue click the options uh, where you can define the size of the minimal and also maximal so let's say we want the maximal to be 30. Uh, you can also change the colors okay um let's use this one uh, you can also classify the data so again here you can choose the way that those different type of classification method uh, let's keep natural break and let's also choose three classes and you can see the legend has been updated uh, accordingly automatically uh, of course you can have the other um, controls like visible range etc um, so it's it's pretty much similar um, uh, to the uh, ArcGIS Pro, um, but I would say ArcGIS Pro uh, with ArcGIS Pro you will have you have more controls. Okay, let's say okay, and down. So now we have our first map, which is a proportional simple map, and let's check the second one. And again, you can change the symbol, uh, leg, show, show, to show the legend, etc. However, you cannot do a cluster. Um, you can show the attribute tables. Um, you can perform analysis, and then you can do pretty much the same thing. Uh, so since we we are here, let's first create labels. Okay. Um, so here we label each county names and. Uh, you can of course change the size okay and also color uh, if you like and also you can add more effects and uh, and also you may feel like that it is too crowded if i zoom out 
Uh, so it would also set the scale that at what scale you should see the uh, see the label. So here I just drag change this scale so I won't see that at the current scale I should able to see the I should see the labels. But if I zoom out and I should not see the labels. So if I zoom in, I can see that and zoom out, I should not see that. Okay, so that we can. Uh, uh, set the range that the labels will be displayed uh, depending on the scale that you are looking at and let's click OK and let's also change the uh, style so here again we are going to choose um, the parameters um, also you can define your new param parameters like you can just define the run different calculations uh, where you can see you can use those functions that they provided. Um, however, let's just use population. OK. And now you can see you can choose different type of uh, maps. Uh, let's choose. Let's say we want to create a, a um, car plus map. So we select the second one. And you can choose the colors. OK. Uh, so you can choose a color that you like. Okay, and you can also see I, I will also want that one to be divided by the area. So let's say we want area square kilometers. And here I feel like that, okay, I, I want the area with high population densities have dark color so I can invert. Okay, uh, you may not like these colors if you if you don't like my color and feel free to change um, yours. And again, you can choose the classifications and uh, so natural break. Uh, to me, I think four classes is okay. 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 Uh, so well, uh, okay, it's it's not a good color, so I, I'm going to change the color. Um, oops. Okay, probably this is better. Uh, okay, uh, so now I'm happy with my uh, online maps, and you can see that if you zoom in, and you will be able to see the county names, and if you zoom out, uh, you will not see those county names, and you can see that the 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 scale bar is added automatically. Um, and if you're happy with that, uh, you can save the map. So this is where you have you have given it a name. So I, I will call it Lab 11 map. You have to give a tag. So I will call it GOG. So this class. And you can choose which folder do you want to save. Uh, if you don't have any folders, I, I guess you, you can and create folder first in ArcGIS, in ArcGIS Online, or you can just choose a, the root folder. So since I already created folders, I'm going to save that one to this folder. Uh, it really doesn't matter which folder you are using. So, And it's also OK to save that one to your root folder. Uh, you can give it a very simple summary. Um, however, that is an optional. And next, let's save the map. OK. Um, they also give you some very interesting functions, like you can share the map. OK, uh, you can copy this one and also share it. And also you can create as a web app. Um, you can also print the map. And also you can um, get directions, um, which you can uh, say that like uh, customize your route based on your map. And also you can mirror the distance and you can define the different bookmarks. Uh, you can also geocode any places you like. OK, uh, I think that's pretty much about the map. Uh, so let's make sure that we save the map. OK, and now if we go to our content. OK, and uh, see here you can see those are all my contents. And this is where I created folders. OK, so this is where I created folders. So if you click this one, you can create folder. And within my 
2024 folder and you can see my map is here and if you open this map and this is where again you can add it to those mental data okay and you can see that the layers that are being used in this map um, and also you can see the usage so see if anyone else have already viewed your map yet or not and there are also more settings okay uh, so let's go back to the content and um okay uh so again in my all my contents you can see all the contents and that is also this is my root folder okay um and also uh, here I also created a subfolder where uh, you can see that this is the map that I just created. Okay, uh, you may notice that I, I just switched the browser. So earlier I was using Chrome and also now I'm using Firefox. And the reason is because I just noticed that uh, if I'm using the uh, the Chrome, so I will not be able to set uh, the shares you can see that I will not see those icons those global or, or people's icons but if I'm using Firefox you can see I do have the, the option that uh, how I want to share um, those items so well I, I just realized this one so um, hopefully this is not too late for you so uh, if you have the same issues so make sure that everything that uh, you, you already saved online and also just switch to a different browser like using Firefox and then we are hopefully you, you will be able to see this icon so that will control the sharing level okay so basically if you click the sharing level so you can determine that do you want to share with your own um, do you want to share within your organization so in this case it's GMU or do you want to share with everyone so if we choose share with everyone and anyone that have this URL that you uh, uh, create within your map will be able to see your map. So let's create this one, share that one with everyone. Okay, and now you can see this map now has been become, has a global icon. Again, I don't know why Chrome is not showing up those icons. So if you have these issues, just switch to a different browser. So this is very weird. Okay. So uh, next, so let's say that we already have this map and also, of course, you can share these maps with others. However, so if you want to provide a better uh, user experience, so I would recommend we create an app that can host embed your map. Uh, so creating app is pretty simple on Arcticus Online. So you just need to go within your content and go to the folder that you want to save your app and click create uh, so here you can see there are several apps that you can create you can create a configurable app which you can create app from a template you can also customize your web app by using this web app builder you can also create a story map so that uh, if you have a it's, it's something like you create a presentation but uh, online, but you combine multiple maps or multiple visualizations together. And all these three dashboards, sites, and also experience builder are something that is uh, pretty new. Uh, to be honest, I haven't tried those yet, but I think that will uh, give you more um, power that you can enable those uh, online analytics tools, and also you can combine um, those visualizations. So. For this lab, let's just use this one, configurable app. And uh, you can see here we have multiple um, templates. So let's just use the basic view. Okay. Let's choose a basic view and let's create a web app. For this one, let's call it lab 11. And you can add a tag. I just use geo. Uh, uh, 215 and you can design any other tags uh, summary is optional and also you can choose where do you want to save your folder I, I created the folder for this semesters however just feel free to save anywhere as long as you can find it 
And next, let's see, finish. OK, so because we choose the basic template, so the app is, is super simple. So it's, it's just a map. OK, and next, you're going to choose which map do you want to use within your app. Uh, so let's see, let's search lab 11. OK, and let's use the map that we just created and choose select. OK, and so now your uh, your map is here. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, etc. Uh, you can give the title. So let's say I just called lab 11. And the subtitle. Uh, my first ArcGIS app. And if you want more details, so here you can see this is the rich editor. So uh, you can embed even other URLs, etc. Um, OK. And you can also add other alternative map. So which um, uh, just in case that uh, a lot of con um, some some apps support like the swipe the, the app and also compare different maps. Um, so we are not going to do that. And and also you can change the theme. So let's see all the colors are customizable. Uh, logo. So you can see here <laughs> GMU logo is already there, but you can choose different one. And also other options. So. Uh, do you allow the user to change the base map, etc.? And do you allow user to share your map, etc.? Do you allow user to print your map? And also, uh, uh, do you allow user to search those services? And if yes, which uh, geocode um, function service will be used? So again, this one is not free, so that be cautious. Um, OK, I think, I think that's it. And let's save it. And let's launch it. OK, so you have to save it first. And next, you have to launch it. OK, uh, so here this, is, here this is a very simple app, which is just basically this is just a map. But personally, I would say this has a better user experience than just a simple online map. Uh, because you can uh, see that the layers where you can see the uh, the symbols, okay, the legend, um, and also you, if you enable the base map, so the user can change the base map. They have to share your map, okay. Uh, so let's copy this URL. Let's just copy it from now, okay. Of course, you can add the other uh, map elements like uh, North Arrow scale bars, which really depend on which uh, template you choose. Uh, right now, for look looks like for this one, uh, um, I, we didn't enable that uh, template, but that's fine. OK, again, make sure you, you copy this link and let's close this app and let's close that app editing. And let's go back to our um, contents. OK, so let's go to the content. And so here you can see you have one more item, which is an app. It's called a map application. And also make sure that this is also public. OK, so basically you need uh, your app, your map, and also your data to be public. However, you are using my data, and this data is already public. But on your side, you have to make sure that map and also app are public. OK, so finally, uh, so before you finish your lab, so let's make sure that our app is accessible. So let's go to browser and let's open a private view. OK, and now let's paste the URL that we just copied. OK, and looks like, yes, it is accessible. So. OK, so now it is working. So now you can just uh, be confident that you are able to share your data with others.